more is. I still got two more. Bruce. Ghost. No. Sit. Shake. Are you shaking yet? I'll teach you that later. Good boy. Bruce is. Yeah, everybody gets a treat. Everybody's got a bone. Yep. Well, Lillian didn't get one, but she usually doesn't eat them. Yeah, she don't like those for some reason. She does, but she doesn't. Oh, Midnight wants a treat. <laughs> they all want that treat. Look at them. <laughs> want some twister? Sylvia, you're filthy. Blue. Hi, Blue. Sylvia, More. it's like a circus around here. Yeah. There's so many animals. Like, yeah. I did not expect to have so many domesticated animals, if that makes sense. Other animals, yes, but so many dogs and cats, never in a million years would I thought. No. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody, and happy Hello. Monday. <laughs> As you can see, we're uh, rewarding and treating all the animals right now. So, Lillian? Um, <clears throat> no Lillian. we did go into town this morning, so it's a little later in the day. Um, we had to go take care of some things. <laughs> uh, interesting story. It's kind of a weird weekend. Um, so Friday, why I got home from school and I could tell he wasn't feeling very well. He just looked totally drained and exhausted. And actually Abe came over here Friday yeah. and wanted to hang out with Wyatt, but Wyatt was like, no. I'm really tired. I just kind of want to hang out. And it was like seven o'clock and he was out. He went to bed at seven on a Friday, <laughs> you know, which that's really weird for Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah. He was burnt. Um, he basically had dinner Friday night, pizza night and Sit. passed out and woke up the next day and he didn't really get out of bed uh, on Saturday. Now he loafed the whole day. Yeah, he took a nap. He loafed in his bed. He he ended up getting a fever. Um, just, he was sick. Which kind of sucks because, as you guys know, yesterday was Easter. And he kept talking about how I was like, Wyatt, you just need to stay in bed and chill and recuperate. That way on uh, Sunday is Easter. You know, you can have a really good Easter Day celebration and stuff. So um, he still wasn't feeling very well on Sunday. Um... I mean, he still did the Easter thing, but he just, you know, wasn't feeling good. Better than he was, though, on Saturday, I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but he just kind of loafed around, too, yesterday, and then this morning, he kind of got up. He kind of wasn't, he was good, a lot better than he was on, like, Saturday and Friday, but still not 100%, but... No, I could tell he was trying to... He was trying to get out of get school, out of school today. today, um, but... But he's not sick. No. Uh, yeah, yesterday he was better. Like, at the end of the day, he actually, like, got up and was moving around. He got dressed. Um, he didn't really hang out with the kids. I didn't really want him hanging around because he is still sick, you know? Yeah. And I don't want him to infect everybody else over there. <laughs> but I think he's infected us. Uh, Anthony and I, yeah. this morning, um, it, we went down to the bus stop, and Anthony said, he goes, I think I'm getting sick. I said, you think you're getting sick? I said, because I think I'm getting sick. <laughs> I laugh now, but... Yeah, until tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> we could feel it. Like, I just, I, I don't know. I can feel the sickness. And usually if Wyatt gets sick, I get sick. And sometimes Anthony does, but I don't know. We're kind of weird. Like, our immune systems, like, it's weird. I have never been more sick. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. My entire life than when I moved out here. So that happened this weekend. It was kind of a kind of a loaf relaxing weekend. We didn't really No, we didn't <coughs> no just because Wyatt's down. Good and then we got uh the extra lunch. Huh? Good thing we got the extra lunch. Oh yeah. <coughs> so we went to town this morning because uh one, we don't know how we're gonna be feeling here in the next couple days. <laughs> So we went and got some medicine, um, just in case, so we can kind of, you know, keep things moving a little bit. And then, uh, <coughs> it is supposed to rain and stuff this, uh, today. Um, 
and maybe tomorrow. So we thought like today was a good day to go to the store and get some stuff for our next phase of projects and things that we got to do around here. Well, that's funny because I just remembered another crazy thing that happened this weekend. Um, it was Saturday um, when Wyatt was sick. He had a fever. Well, of course, I ran out of Tylenol. <laughs> Story of my life. So I had to run into town really quick on Saturday to go get some Tylenol. And that was I was driving, um, like a little warning light came on on my car. <clears throat> and it was a battery, the battery light. And then it said, like, battery charging requires maintenance or something popped up on my dashboard um so i called anthony i was like hey my car it, it's running fine like there's nothing wrong with it but i got this thing going on with it so yeah. <coughs> anthony was like can you hurry up come home so i did i came home and he looked at my car yesterday well my serpentine belt broke yeah that, the belt that goes around the alternator and her air conditioning like I went to do all like the different checks on everything. Yeah. And I go to look at the belt and I'm looking and I'm like, there's no belt here. You're all what belt? <laughs> Belt's missing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I think it happened on my way. I was telling Anthony I was I was driving and it felt like a bunch of rocks or something hit like the underneath my car. Not fat rocks, like little tiny pebbles is what it sounded like. <laughs> and then within like a couple seconds of that happening is when I got that battery light pop on in my car. So that happened this weekend. Um, that was part of the reason why we went into town today too, was so we could get the parts or the part, the belt to fix my car. Because <laughs> yep. I don't want my car to be down again, like it was that time. It won't be. Nah, I know it won't be. I'm not really worried about it. Um, and Bruce has got a nice brand new harness. Yes, that's a, one of the things I was going to mention too, is we did go to the store. We picked up uh, Bruce a harness. It's a body harness. Yeah. Um, better than his neck getting cold. Yeah, let's see yeah, if that... See. I know... Um, well, I think he likes it. He put it on and got all excited. Yeah, dogs, they like that. It feels like a security around them. and They feel very in charge and like a work dog. Well, he is a work dog. Yeah, well, it feels like that gives him purpose, right? So yeah. hopefully that will help with him pulling so much when we're, you know, walking him and stuff. I know <clears throat> he might get a little bit more pull power because of the harness. That's okay though. Rather, rather <coughs> but I think you. Body than yeah. on his neck. As you guys can see, it's just a body harness. But I think he likes it. Yeah. What do you think? Bruce? You like it, Bruce? He's doing really good, guys. Yeah. He's a he's, uh, he's a sweetheart dog. He's such a good dog. Yeah. He's last night he was making me very mad though because <laughs> at like three in the morning. I get woken up to a bunch of, you know, what do you guys call it? Bailing, howling. Yeah. I'm like, oh. And I'm sitting there, I'm wide awake, and I can hear him. He's out there for like 30 minutes, just going ham, just nonstop. So he probably seen, you know, he could have seen like a possum or a skunk or. One of the cats was probably the cats in the woods. walked by, and, you know, he goes nuts. And then I'm all, well, he's going to be quiet eventually. And he did, but. Yeah, it just took a little awake. bit. Yeah. <laughs> He was carrying on. I didn't even hear him, so that's <laughs> how good I was sleeping. Better? Is this better? I didn't even hear him cry or anything last night. <laughs> we need to get harnesses for all the dogs. Yeah. Um, we did have, Jaina had one. She Jana's, still has yeah, one. Yeah, I was going to say, Jaina still has hers. <clears throat> I believe it's in the trailer. It is. Wait, that's Lillian, it, need, all of them need to have one. Oh, Lillian's got a harness. I know, but we need, she just needs to wear it. She's running around, <coughs> around naked all the time. Yeah, I uh, I only use the harness like uh, I only use the harness if I'm going somewhere with her. And then I need to walk her. Then I'll put her harness on. But if she's just going with me in the car and we're running into town really quick to get, you know stop by Walmart real quick, I'll just take yeah. her. <laughs> I don't need a harness. <laughs> no, but I do have a harness and a leash just sitting in the car just in case I need it for whatever reason for her. But now he's doing really good, guys. Yeah, he is doing good. He's uh. He's getting used to everything. Yeah, he's been he's hanging out, being a he's good a boy. Good he um, Ghost and Bruce seem to hang out with Anthony a lot. Yeah, I get the men. Yeah, and then Mora and Jaina and Lily, and they all hang out with me a lot. Um, I had uh, 
Lillian, Jaina, and Maura, they were all in the garden with me. Uh, was that Friday? Yeah, Friday. Hanging out. I checked my garden. I don't have any sprouts. <clears throat> At least as of yesterday. I haven't checked today. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Coughing, yeah. We're kind of down. Well, well yeah, and I got... 100%. I got like it's a coming. tickle in my throat. You know when it feels like, yeah, your throat kind of hurts when you cough and you can feel it. You yeah, know, you. The congestion. That's what chest, it is. It's it, coming. It's coming. Like I know. I can coming. actually, I'll say this. As the day has been progressing. <laughs> it's done worse. I've been feeling it coming more and more and more and more on. So thanks, Wyatt. <laughs> like I said, I've never been more sick in my entire life than until I moved out here. Yeah. And maybe it's just a different part of the country, so it's different germs and things. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I have no idea. Yeah, dif uh, different. Um, um, uh, just a different environment. Yeah. But, I mean, every year we've been here so far, I've gotten sick two or three times every yeah. year. But in Vegas, I'd, I'd go years without being sick. Maybe for a day, a year. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like a small cold. I would get sick at least two times a year in Vegas. And I get sick probably around average, probably two times a year now. Yeah, I um, get it. Why is your paw in that water now? He's dogs and cats and just everybody. Look. He's got his paw in there. I don't know why your paw needs to be in there. Well, he probably saw Twister and he was like, oh, that's how we do it around here? Yeah, I get <clears> no, water all over my deck. No problem. Oh, well, he man. just thinks he's cool because he has his harness now. Yeah. <laughs> he, he does. He cool. thinks he is cool. No, so. I try. I would put a harness on you, Ghost, but I don't know if you'd like it. Plus, he might. You walk better than Bruce right now. He does. You're a Ghost, Ghost is a really good walker. You're a good walker. Uh, Maura's not. You probably should get one for her. Right, Maura? Yeah, Maura's a horrible walker. Yeah, she pulls too. Yeah. Really hard. Run. Yeah, that's why she pulls is because she's like, please, just let me off. I just want to go. I already know my way around here. I don't need your help. <laughs> I know exactly where to go. So I'm not sure how this week's going to hold out for us. I mean, we have plans. We do. Of getting some more stuff done around here. But hopefully, <coughs> maybe we can, we'll we can catch this sickness and maybe get a hold of it before it gets really bad well i do got to get back over to fort smith and pick up my harley yes because it is ready to ride yeah i was just gonna say I, a couple people asked last week um mm -hmm. if your bike any updates on your bike and yes it's ready so real quick i'm gonna throw this out there again just if you guys are wondering what they had to do with it and some of you guys um don't care or whatever <laughs> right but they had to replace all the fuel lines they had to replace the fuel filter, the fuel pump. They had to reline my gas tank. So they take the entire gas tank off and reline it, the fuel liner inside there, which was like a four day process. They had to flush the uh, ABS brake system out and put new brake fluid in there. They had to, and they had to flush uh, the hydraulic clutch lines completely out. Replace the air filter. Um, fuel filter? Yeah, fuel, I already said fuel oh, filter okay. also. So basically everything to do with the fuel system, they had to replace like completely. Yeah. So um, the guys called me up and they said it is ripping down the road. It is ready to ride. It sounds really good. I should be good for another 5,000 miles on it. Got a full service done on it. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. It's been years, <laughs> quite honestly, since I've been able to ride my bike. So. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It'll be like having a whole new motorcycle is what I told them. I said, man, you're gonna yeah. have like a whole new bike. When you get it back. I am. And they said they were going to wash it for me. So, <laughs> you guys seen how dirty it was. Yeah, right? mighty. It's going to be a whole new color. Well, yeah, it's going to be actually <laughs> black and not brownish black. Yeah. You know, or tan, you know. It's going to be gray. <laughs> yeah. So, I got to find a cover for it or something because I don't want it to get dirty when it's parked in the, for now, it's still has, it still has to go back in the tent. Yeah. Um, but either a big blanket I'm going to put over it or something. Yeah. When it's not. You know, not riding it. I want it to stay clean. I'm going to take care of it this time, guys. Yes. I promise you this. We were just talking about that, too. Today. On the way to town, I was like, you know what? Now it's going to be way easier because my mind's not going to be so jumbled on all these random things that need to get done. You know, when we first moved here, we had so much to do. You guys oh, know yeah. they've been around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every day was a new um, giant 
something that needed to get done. <laughs> yes, the project years. and then, you know, projects that took a long time and just a different priority set, right? Yeah, and so um, what Roxanne, she made a good point. So once a month right now, um, I go and start up the backup generator mm -hmm. for our house once a month. And I let it run for about 20 minutes. And that's for the fuel. I don't want the fuel to get caked and gunked. And I want everything to be working right. So when I do that, I'm going to go start my bike. Yeah. And let that run for 20 minutes. I'll probably do my bike like every two weeks. Yeah. Right. Um, and, you know, I'll ride it to town one day when it's nice outside to go, you know, go to Walmart for a quick second, come back. I'll, I'll be doing that kind of stuff. But during like the winter months, I'll, I'll do the same thing as a generator. And that was a good idea. Might just do it all at the same time. Yeah, like, yeah, you then know, you our, know. Our yeah. log splitter, the mulcher, the backup generator, my bike. Um, the side by side. Side by side, I gotta get that going again. That needs yeah, a new battery. Yeah, that needs a new battery. So there's like, once a month, there's like five engines. That should run. That need to run for, you know, 15, 20 minutes to make sure that the fuel doesn't get gunked up. We, and all of those things, we try to use non-ethanol. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, my bike's fine either way. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to use non-ethanol in my motorcycle. I don't know. I got to double check. I always put premium in it. I was going to say, you were putting premium in it anyways. That's so. all I do is premium fuel. So I mean, you should be fine yeah. with premium. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so um, hopefully we can get the bike back over here this week. Um, hopefully Anthony remembers how to ride. <laughs> I'll remember how to ride. It'll be iffy at very first, but I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be there. I'm not riding with him on the bike. I'm going to drive him over there. That's the plan. And then I'll follow behind him and make sure he, you know, does okay. And, yeah. <clears throat> and now, now it's the time of year, guys. We're getting all these beetles. They're everywhere. These little beetles. I don't know why. Showing up. Talking about those beetles beetles yesterday yeah they show up everywhere i don't even know what type of beetles these are yeah. these, these aren't dung beetles i don't know they're gross though no they're beetles the chickens won't even eat them really? i tried they're, no. they're maybe they're like stink bugs they don't stink though i think well, i don't think chickens really like beetles because they're <laughs> hard you know yeah i don't know maybe you, th you think they want to eat them they're crunchy these are going to come in droves here real soon they're going to be all over the house every year yeah even the cats won't eat them no <clears throat> As you guys can see though, I got my hummingbird feeders out. One right here. I got one over here too. Right here on this post. <laughs> I'm getting ready because they are supposed to be coming out. Uh, they said anywhere from like, I think in April is when they start showing up. I mean, here's just three more smaller ones on the cat cage. <laughs> Little beetles. Gross. <laughs> I want to know what type of beetles they are. I say gross. <laughs> right, Bruce? Yep. So, um, I'm not sure what, like I said, going to happen today. Um, we're, I think we're going to relax a little bit today because I would really like to not get sick. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to not get sick. You know, if like we can have just a little head cold, maybe a little congestion or something, but still to get things done, that's cool. But if we're down like Wyatt was, I'm, I'm not in for that. No. I don't want we to. We won't be moving off the couch for a couple days. So. Yeah, we might even have fevers. And I heard that it's going around. It is. Yeah. It is. I, but we're stocked up, though. We got children's Tylenol. Got soups. Got yeah. all that good stuff. So if it well, does happen. And NyQuil, DayQuil. That's about the most extent of medicine besides antibiotics I'll take. Yeah. Personally. So we're ready to go. <laughs> if we do, it's coming. I already know it's coming. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. <laughs> so we're just going to hang tight, guys. And uh, have a great uh, Monday, I guess, right? Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, hopefully you guys had a great weekend, guys. Yes, and happy Easter. Happy late I know, Easter. Yeah, late I know Easter. it was yesterday, but I hope everybody had an awesome Easter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, stay safe, guys. Stay motivated, and hopefully we will catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.